Welcome back dear students. So we are doing chapter number 20, area of a trapezium and a polygon and today we will be starting the last exercise on this particular chapter and this cha exercise deals with a special figure called circles. Okay, And you know, so this is a shape of a circle where this is your center, Okay, this becomes your center and this line okay this line is called the radius okay so this line is called the radius so first formalize for circumference of the circle circumference means the boundary of the circle okay so if you want to find the length of the boundary that is the circumference you have to make use of the formula to this symbol is called pi pi okay pi so it is 2 pi r where r stands for radius and the area of the circle is given by pi r square okay and remember the value of pi is 22 by 7 always remember the value of pi is 22 by 7 okay right so with this much of knowledge of formula let's see the first question so question number one from 20d exercise 20d let me take only one problem okay so question says find the radius and area of the circle whose circumference is so basically in one and two these gives you the circumference okay so let me take only number one given is circumference of the circle is 132 but you know the formula says that circumference of the circle is 2 pi r that means basically 2 pi r is given to be 132 now let's put the value of pi you know the value of pi is 22 by 7 so 2 is there in its place pi means 22 by 7 r is kept in its place and 132 is kept as it is now what you do you take the 7 here you bring this 2 and 22 to the denominator so you get this much now you have to do simple cancellation okay so you have to cancel and after cancellation and simplification, you find that the value of R turns out to be 21 centimeter. Okay, that cancellation part I am not showing, but you have to show me the cancellation part in your solution. Okay, so that's why the way value of R turns out to be 21 centimeter. So I got my first answer that is the radius. Now let's find the area of the circle. Now for finding area of the circle, formula is pi R square isn't it so we have pi is 22 r is 21 so r square means 21 into 21 so do the cancellation again and simplify you'll get your answer to be 1386 centimeter square remember area becomes centimeter square right pause the video and note down let's take number two uh, so from number two i'll take sub number two so given is area of the circle 6.16 meter square now again you need to find radius and circumference now area of the circle can also be written as pi r square as you all know now you know the value of pi is 22 by 7 and 6.16 can be written as 616 by 100 so again we'll take the 7 here bring this 22 down okay so simplify it do the cancellation you will get this much See, you can even, you know, if you want to cancel it further, you can cancel, but I'm leaving it till here. Okay. Now, R square is this much. So, that's why the value of R turns out to be. Okay. So, if you convert R square into uh, decimal, you get this much. So, if you find R, you have to write square root sign here. If, if you want to get rid of this R square and write just R, you have to get rid of or you have to put square root sign here. And you already know how to find square root, isn't it? So square root of 1.96, you find it, you'll get that this will be equal to 1.4 meter. So I got the radius. Now my job is to find circumference. So circumference formula is this one. So put the values, okay? So pi is 22 by 7, r is 1.4. Do the cancellation and simplify. You'll get your answer to be 8.8 .8 meter, okay? So with this, we have completed this particular problem. Pause the video and now done your solution. Okay, so the next topic that you need to understand is area of a ring. 
okay so what is a ring yeah you know what is the shape of a ring isn't it so a ring is formed by two concentric circles you need to remember this okay now let see if there are two concentric circles that means there are two different radius isn't it so let r be the inner radius and let capital r be the outer radius if you have not understood this let's understand using this diagram so this brown colored portion is called a ring okay this is called a ring now there are two circles as you can see the white circle and the outer circle okay so white circle is the inner circle and its radius is given by small r and the outer radius is given by capital r that's what is the meaning of you know inner inner radius and outer radius okay then the area of the ring that is this brown portion is given by this particular formula okay so very important formula we'll be applying this formula in upcoming few problems okay so you may pause the video and note down the formula okay so we have question number 6 at the last problem for the day so find the area of shaded portion in each of the following diagrams so we have got two diagrams you have to find area of shaded region now see we have already done this kind of sum earlier okay so what we will do here is okay so first and foremost in the first figure this is the radius isn't it so radius is given to be 7 centimeter and you know this outside figure is a square isn't it so whenever you find area of shaded region i told you you have to do area of bigger figure minus area of smaller figure and here i see bigger figure is a square so for finding area of the square i need each side of the square isn't it so each side of the square means from here to here is seven so from here to here will also be seven so all together from here to here that is the diameter becomes seven isn't it so diameter and length of each side both will be same okay so that's why each side of the square will be seven plus seven from here to here seven from here to here seven all together it is 14 centimeter so that means the length of each side turns out to be 14 centimeter so that's why area of the shaded portion bigger figure is a square so area of square minus smaller figure that is area of circle now you know area of square formula is side is square and each side is 14 so 14 square means 14 minus 14 into 14 14 square means 14 into 14 minus area of a circle pi r square so pi is 22 by 7 into r square is 7 square which is 7 into 7 so do the cancellation 7 and 7 gets cancelled 14 into 14 is 196 so 22 into 7 becomes 154 find the difference it turns out to be 42 so your answer or the area of shaded portion turns out to be 42 centimeter square right so we have finished the first problem let's see the second problem see the second problem looks like a ring isn't it so that's why we have a direct formula here so you know capital r stands for the outer radius which is given to be 4.5 and the inner radius that small r is given to be 2.5 meter so put the values here pi is 22 by 7 r is capital r is 4.5 small r is 2.5 so you can apply a square minus b square formula here you know a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b so a plus b into a minus b now see here carefully 4.5 plus 2.5 is 7 4.5 plus 2.5 is 7 so that 7 and this new denominator 7 can be cancelled okay now you have 4.5 minus 2.5 is 2 so basically we are left with 2 into 2 i'm sorry 22 into 2 which is 44 centimeter square so that's why your area of this ring or area of this shaded portion will be 44 centimeter square okay so pause the video and note down your solution so here are a few homeworks easy homeworks okay so kindly try them so question number one sub number two question number two sub number one three four and five try them and you can send them along with the sums which you have done earlier as the assignment Okay, so with this, we close for the day. Thank you very much.